Hi, I'm Kerry Pearson. I'm Head of Service with Commensura and these are my lockdown tales. Uh, number one, how is the lockdown going for me? Well, I would like to say that I've got all my household jobs finished. I have nailed my DIY and I am homeschooling Jeremy to a very high standard every day, but that would all be a complete lie. Um, usually I have time at home very rarely and have very little time where I have nothing to do. So it would be an absolute dream to have the choice of just not going anywhere. Um, but unfortunately, at the moment, cabin fever is setting in two weeks in. Um, I can't see the end of it, which is even harder. And I will be working through Bank Holiday Friday and Monday because I've got loads and loads of stuff to do. But also because if I don't, I think I'm going to go absolutely mad. Um, otherwise, none of us have committed murder yet. We're in this together. We're all getting on so it could be worse and we are having an Easter camp on Saturday night in the back garden in our tents um, we'd usually be away with the scouts on Easter weekend but unfortunately we can't do that so we're going to camp in the garden instead and hopefully that will keep Jeremy occupied for at least oh five minutes maybe question number two what is the best thing about working from home well, um, I'm field based, so I work from home quite regularly anyway. Um, I'd say at the moment, the best thing is also probably the worst thing. And that would be having Jeremy at home 24 hours a day, nonstop. He um, is full on from the minute he opens his eyes to the minute he goes to bed at night. And he just does not stop. And his homeschooling is not going particularly well. I would not make a very good teacher. Um, on the positive side, the team and the customers, we're all in touch uh, daily on video calls, on conference calls. A lot of us have lunch together um, and sit and actually take some time during the day to eat and have a chat and catch up on things that don't involve work, which is also nice. Um, and I do think that COVID-19 might well have a positive effect on the world of work and what we do moving forward. And it's definitely bumped our team spirit up and brought us all together. So fingers crossed, there are some good things that will come out of this as well. And um, yeah, working from home could be easier if the schools are open. Question number three, what are you looking forward to doing most when the lockdown is over? Oh, go to the pub. Um, making plans, 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 lots of plans. Um, we've had loads of stuff that we've had to cancel and put off because of this whole situation. So it'll be really nice to do that. Um, I'll be going to the pub probably for a very large gin and tonic um, and to see real life actual people rather than virtual copies. Um, it's Jeremy's birthday coming up, so he will be in lockdown for that. But once we're allowed out, we'll be having a massive Nerf war party with bouncy castles and barbecues. Uh, and our parties tend to end up going on very, very late into the early hours of the next morning with all the parents. So I expect that will be a lot of fun. Um, the very first thing, though, that I think I'm going to be doing is jumping in the car, going over and seeing some people people um, whom I love very, very much and I haven't seen for absolutely ages, um, making lots and lots of plans for the next three months, probably involving more pubs, more people, maybe a holiday or three, somewhere nice and hot. Um, and then I would think I've got all the DIY jobs and household tasks that, to do that I haven't actually done whilst I've been at home with nothing else to do. So um, yeah, that is pretty much it. And that's my lockdown tales.